What's happening, folks? Now, this tale from my journey during martial arts was a time where I completely broke, I, I broke my toes several times on my right foot, but this time was the absolute worst time I broke them. And then my partner and I, we were doing some drills together where we were kicking back and forth, you know, just back and forth, no problem, everything cool. Now, what ended up happening was I ended up throwing a front kick at the same time he threw one. I, it was my mistake. My my kick was supposed to be round. His was supposed to be front, right? Just so you can just get a visual of what open when you throw which what type of attack. So I threw a, I threw a front kick. He threw a front kick. My my foot managed to my toes hit his heel, and I heard instant break. I heard it break. It wasn't just a toe crack. No, they broke. I was like, ooh. And I don't know if you ever, I know, I'm pretty sure at some point or another you hit your toe in the middle of the night and it felt that pain or you stubbed your toe period and you felt like that pain that make you just want to sit down because it hurts so bad. But yeah, imagine that on two toes. It wasn't my big toe, it wasn't my pinky. It was the two in the middle, it was the um, one after a big toe and the, one, and the one next to that. So they broke it. I'm talking instant puffy, got nice and purple. However, me being me, I decided, ah, eh, it's toes, I'm going to keep going. And then as the class went on, this, this happened like within the first five minutes of class too. So I'm like, God, this sucks. But I'm, I'm in pain, but you know what, suck it up, deal with it. So we get to a part where we're just, you know, bouncing around or whatever, and we have to do another drill. And I realized like, man, this really hurts. And my instructor gives me some Tiger Bomb to rub on my foot. And so I rubbed it on there. That was my first introduction to Tiger Bomb, too. So I rubbed the Tiger Bomb on my foot and my toes in particular to see, you know, to help it. And it kind of numbed them up enough for me to finish. But once I finished class, I realized, like, all right, I need, I might, I might need to get look, may, may need to get this looked at. But me and my wife, when she was my girlfriend at the time, we had a trip planned to go to um, Ohio and go to go to see the um, go to see the point. I was real big in the roller coasters back then. So yeah, I'm the high, the tallest one in the world. Yeah, the whole tallest one in America. I I I've ridden it. I'm, I know there's been others since, but I did ride that one at Cedar Point because I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't get it checked out. I'm walking around that amusement park after we after having drove had driven there for what like what 16 hours or something like that. Dream. I'm walking around the amusement park with a broke with broken toes. And I'm talking foot just throbbing inside of those shoes. I'm talking just hurting so bad. And my wife, she kept accidentally hitting my toes. I'm like, I think you do, I think you're subconsciously doing it on purpose because of something I did to make you mad. And I was very guilty of making her mad often because oh, I was a knucklehead, whatever. I I, I did it. But it, I mean, just walking hurts so much. It hurts so bad. And when we finally got back from our trip, we were gone for about, we were gone for about a week. We finally got back, never got looked at. Never got my toes looked at at all because all they would tell me to do was tape them together. My, my, I, I wasn't gonna have my foot in the cast. That was gonna happen. So it was a tape them together and be fine. So I used some electrical tape, tape them together for a few weeks. They start to feel better. They're, they're fine now. However, when it's cold out, I, I, I still feel that, that sensation and sometimes they still go numb. So I probably should have gotten looked at. Now, the moral of this story is, if something happens, stop, get it looked at. Don't, don't, don't be, don't try and be tough. Get it looked at because it, it'll turn into something that may become a lingering, nagging injury for you that'll flare up every once in a while as you get older. So this happened in my 20s. I'm in my 40s now. I still feel it.